Our next guest says the players in Washington are lined up like a dodgeball game with everyone afraid to go into the middle and grab the ball. And somebody obviously has to give. For more than three decades, Matthew Down has helped shape campaigns for governments, foundations, candidates, and presidents. He was a chief political strategist for President George W. Bush's 2004 campaign and uh, has since then become maybe closer to President Obama. Matthew, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. So you say somebody has to go in there and grab the ball. It doesn't look like anyone's going to. No, they're all lined up because of their own internal politics on each side of the aisle that they have to try to appeal to those who will both, both seem to say they want to fight. And the only resolution to this thing is to stop fighting and go to the middle, compromise, and get the deal done. They all say they want to do it, but seem unwilling to get anywhere close to the center to do it right now. Well, it's about the appearance of wanting to have put up the best fight possible. So what's the most likely outcome at this point? Well, you're right. I think what they want to do is each side wants to say they won, even though they, each side knows they're going to lose something in this my guess is they're going to get a deal done in the latter stages of this and it's going to be a compromise in that the, the ceiling will be extended through the election and a series of cuts will happen with no tax increases that will be the deal that gets struck because the president knows that he does not want to deal with this during the election cycle but he's probably willing to give on the tax increases in order to push that through that's where i think the deal gets done let me ask you on that note we, we are all worried obviously or all concerned about the good of the greater good of the country and we hope that those in Washington are as well. But from a strategist's point of view, if you're in the trenches, right, uh, is either side making the right move from that perspective? I mean, when you read Boehner's notes to his people, uh, to, his con to, to his fellow Republicans, it seems like he's saying, look, we got him up against a wall here. Let's just keep pushing. Well, I, I believe that all of the sides in this have, are well-intentioned. They all have the, their concern about the country, and they all want this thing to get done. I believe that. They get trapped in their own politics. The problem with this is, is that they can't seem to come together on this because of those internal politics they have, and there's no way right now unless they give for that deal to happen. And so that's the problem. I think they want to. I think they know they have to. I think they know the world is watching. They think they know all the American families are watching. But I think so far as both sides have made political mistakes in this. I don't think the president has shown the leadership he needs to have shown from the beginning on this. And I think the Republicans have not taken a good deal when it was laid on the table. I think they could have gotten a lot of what they wanted early on if they were willing to take the deal. I think both sides have made political mistakes. So that's great insight. We know what you would have said if you were officially working as strategist in that capacity what is it going to take Matt that's the question that we want to know what's it going to take to get that deal done well to me all the players are now entrenched in their things so I don't think it's going to come from them I think if I were the president of the United States if I were President Obama I would go to pr pr former President Bush and former President Clinton and ask them to come together just like that happened in Haiti and just like it happened in the tsunami we are in a similar approach of a disaster and ask both presidents to basically stand together and say we got to get this done the country is at risk. All of our markets are at risk. The, the, the economy is at risk. And so have two former presidents of each party come together and say, get the deal done. If that happened and they were able to do that, I think that would force both sides to come to the table.